All right, we're going to check Phoenix, Los Angeles, San Diego, San Francisco, Denver. We're going to check their normality, and we're going to check for any outliers. So let's do normality first. We simply go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Explore, get in there, you. And again, I want Phoenix through Denver. So Statistics. Descriptives are automatic. Just leave that there. Here, plots is your main box here because we don't want the stem and leap, but we do, we do want the histogram that will help us with normality. And in this normality plots with test will give us the Kolmogorov test and the Shapiro-Wilkes test. Okay, and that's the way we look for normality. And we click OK. And we get the output box. Get over there, you. So, again, that's how many there are. There's the means of everybody, but now we're just checking for whether they're normal or not. And unfortunately, none of them are normal. What you do is you look at the kolmogorov smirnov test because there's more than 50. But the significance is less than 0 0.001, which means that the null can be rejected. And the null in this case is that they're normal, right? They're not skewed. And we reject that, and these they're all all the data is is not skewed. It's not normal. None of it, none of these variables are normal. And a histogram should back them up. Yep, that's perfectly not normal. Ton of outliers here. Not normal. Not normal. Not normal. So none of this stuff is none of these items are normal. None of these variables are normal. So what we're going to do now is check for outliers. Hold on. The way I want you guys to identify outliers is to use the z-score method. And by that, I mean this. We're going to go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Descriptives again. We're going to put our five cities over there. And this little box right here, save is a standardized variable. This is a time saver. Click OK. What that did was it should have made five new variables right here. It's got that Z in front of them, so that means that the data is standardized. So what we do is we go back over to the data view sheet, and we start with the Z Phoenix. I'm just going to simply right-click. Put in descending order. So anything, basically, the rule of thumb that I use is two. So you got a ton of outliers. Right? You got 21 outliers on the top. Scroll down to the bottom. Nothing's less than uh, negative two, so nothing on the bottom. But now we're going to repeat this for all, uh, all five of the cities, all four of the other cities, Los Angeles, same thing, I'm going to put that into descending. And again, anything over two, Los Angeles has 15 outliers. Let's go to beautiful San Diego. Descending. Uh, hey, San Diego doesn't have any outliers on the top. Let's see if there's any on the bottom. Nope. San Diego, no outliers. Go San Diego. San Francisco. San Francisco doesn't have any on top or bottom. Right? And then last but not least, beautiful Denver, Colorado. Right click, descending. And no, Denver doesn't have any either. So it looks like the biggest data spread is for Phoenix and Los Angeles. Isn't that interesting? Okay, that's it. MGZ out.